July the 14th, 2020. A couple of things uh, over on space weather, guys, uh, that I want to talk about it that's going to be in the sky tonight. And the first at the very top is Jupiter is at opposition. That's tonight. It says tonight Jupiter is at opposition. That is opposite the sun and making its closest approach to Earth. The giant planet rises at sunset and stays up all night long. Look for it right beside Saturn in the midnight sky. Now, if you've seen the Nibiru videos that I've done, guys, the ancients called Jupiter Nibiru, the planet of the crossing. Also, um, you've got Comet Neowise, and I'm going to show you some incredible images. But let's first go to the sky map on the Jupiter at opposition. And so tonight, guys, the gray line is the horizon. What's, what's in the gray area is below your uh, view at this point. And but as the Earth rotates, that changes. Now, what we're looking at is the direction, 180 degrees from sunset. You're looking, so you're going to be looking back east tonight, 180 degrees. Sagittarius uh, Capricornus, but Saturn and Jupiter are going to rise together right there. Check that out. So just again, look back into the sun uh, to the east. And that's where you're going to see Saturn and Jupiter. Now, uh, just the opposite direction tonight, you may get some shots uh, of uh, Comet Neowise, guys, before it uh, gets so high in the sky you can't see it. But now, these next few weeks are going to be extremely uh, good for watching Comet Neowise. Again, Saturn and Jupiter, if you look to the east where the sun rises and you look to the west this evening, you can uh, possibly see Neowise. This is possibly the best comet image that I've ever seen in my life, but uh, it says Comet Neowise versus the solar wind on July 12th. Two of the best comet photographers in the world, Michael Yeager and uh, Gerald Renman, traveled to the what's called the Hokar, the Hochkar Sky Resort in Austria for a good look at Comet Neowise. The Sky Resort is 1,400 meters above sea level and has a perfect horizon view to the north. Uh, from there, we could expose the comet as deeply as possible, and this is what they saw. And they, they had two cameras, one doing a black and white, one doing a color image. Now, this color image from Gerald Reinman is, uh, again, from Lower Austria. Unbelievable, guys. Let's look at it uh, in uh, the enlarged version. Now, what you're looking at, um, you're looking at the above the horizon here and the reason that this video or excuse me the image is turned sideways is so that you could get the entire tail or both tails into the picture but again this would be the bottom to your right okay but with the way this is uh, working out this is the best way to see it and what you're seeing here's the comet uh, 5,000 uh, kilometers I think or five kilometers excuse me and this is the debris trail. In other words, a comet is moving in this direction and leaving the white debris trail behind it. But the blue line, look at that. That's called the ion tail. And that tells you, you again, you've got two things happening. The comet's traveling. It's leaving a debris trail. But the solar winds from the sun blow this blue line, this uh, uh, line here, guys, directly back from the sun. So you're getting... The exhaust to the right uh, as, as it travels, but this the solar stream, the faster it is, the brighter this blue line is, and the further that it comes back. You can see a few gaps in it, and that is actually from variances in the solar wind itself. And if you want to take this and turn it in your um, imaging, you can, but for this video, I'm leaving it the way they did it. It's amazing to see this, guys. And it's starting to become naked eye visible. Now, this was with some cameras and telescopes and things like that. But it's incredible to see the entire thing. Just wanted to point that out. And uh, let's go to our website a moment. Now, the, all the links are on the bottom left except for a few like the USS uh, or the U uh, space station link and a few others like that. And they're down on the uh, very left, guys. And what we were just watching... And a shout out to Space Weather. If you come down to right there, see that? That's the site we were just looking at. It's been here for eight years, maybe ten years. 
and you can see a lot of different information from uh, what we just read to uh, solar spots, sunspots, things like that. Something new on our website I also want to talk about are two things. The four-week food supply, guys, I was reading an article today where the banks are in trouble and the, the planet's in trouble because of what's going on. It's really a satanic takeover. But we still have $100 off the four-week food supply if you need to stock up there. But something brand new. If you remember last year, I did a video and I showed how I built my solar system. And in that was some um, uh, controllers, um, solar panels, and different things like that. And Echo uh, Power right here, they just signed us up today. They want to be a sponsor of our channel. And I thought, I thought it was wonderful because I used their products, but it has everything from solar panels to the controllers to the cables to the inverters that you will need. And guys, one thing about it, uh, you get free shipping over 50 bucks. And if you use the code when you check out BP Earthwatch, that's another 10% off. And that's an incredible savings because finally the price of these solar systems are coming down now this is just a hundred watt system but if you click there and go to shop at the top it will take you through a full array something else i will do if you if you have questions about uh, what do you need because i've kind of been through that and uh kind of you know run my head into the wall a few times to try to get the right equipment to make something work then let me know and i can hook you up with links on maybe what you need and so just uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you got questions. I will answer them. You can go there, and it, a lot of it's self-explanatory. If you're going to be bugging out, guys, a little bit of backup power is very good. But just click there, and it will take you to a basic system, 100-watt system with the uh, battery. Uh, it, this controller controls the input from the panels to the battery so it doesn't overcharge or undercharge, and it comes with the connections and hookups. But if you click shop, then you will go to a full array of different things. Full solar panels, 100 watts, like I've got. That one's sold out. Some of the other ones are. But you can get these in with these charge controllers. Uh, different size panels all the way through there. Um, panels with different uh, MPT, or MPT T controllers. The, it's got all of it listed here, guys. And even down to, if you look... This is kind of cool. Now, some of this stuff is expensive. You can still get the free shipping and the 10% off, but they actually have solar coolers. Think about that. Solar powered. To where you, if you're bugging out or you're camping out or you're somewhere, you can keep your stuff cold. And the thing about these are that you can hook them to your solar panel system or you can plug them into your cigarette lighter in your car or into your wall ac unit and charge them they come with a big battery inside there that's rechargeable that's how these things work they've got those the different freezers all type of different things they've got um generators that you can um let me just click there and these again work the same way small generators different sizes that if you're bugging out or you need backup during storms or hurricanes. These, like this one here, now it's a 400-watt uh, portable generator. What it does, it's got a big battery in it. You can plug it in to your home, keep it charged, plug it into your cigarette lighter, or if you're bugging out or you're camping out, hook it to one of your solar panels. And guys, they start down at 143. It's 150 watt instead of 400 watt, and you can see... The uh, 200 watt is very powerful. They're sold out right now, and you can get a 120 watt one, uh, just depending on what you need. But these things are, are really neat. If you're looking for something, and this has kind of been my motto in the last few years, and I've been building my solar system for four years now as I could afford it, but it's like survival food. Right now, guys, if you're sensing that, and if you're paying attention, you can see that the U.S. dollar is in trouble currency is in trouble a lot of people now are not giving change back in coin uh, so the there's going to be problems coming so if you want to if you got extra money in the bank which could become valueless and let me say this in the um they talk about in the bible about gold and silver 
would be cast in the street and cursed. Why? Because if you someone had an ounce of gold worth a lot of money at one time and you had a loaf of bread, you wouldn't trade it because you've got hungry kids. Now, what they didn't have in the Bible was dollars. If they would have had dollars, they didn't. They used coins then. At that point in time, uh, if it was Rome, it was Judas Caesar on the coin itself. But they didn't have them. But the same thing, it looks like is happening to me. You got a bunch of cash saved up. And if it collapses, it could be worthless. But if you have survival food, dry beans and dry rice, uh, some solar equipment, guys, you're investing into something that's going to help you. Just think about that. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.